SpaMedica.com TV, welcome. Dr. Stephen Mulholland here in Toronto, Canada. And we're going to be talking today about Botox. Botox, in the last 15 years, probably no single uh, product has done more to enhance patients' awareness of what they can do without surgery to achieve a natural facial rejuvenation. Botox can shape the brow, elevate the cheek, contour the neck, improve lines and wrinkles. Just so versatile in our ability to deliver what you want, fresh, natural, uh, youthful, rested appearance. So let's take a look at one patient's story and experiences with Botox. We're back now with health news for you and your family, and tonight we're talking about Botox. Uh, more and more people getting into this. Oh, absolutely, Gord. Botox is the most common non-surgical cosmetic procedure in Canada. This magic poison has the ability to erase wrinkles and even stop excessive perspiring. But is it safe over the long term? A new study out today says yes. Our goal is to have you go right back to work. So you can do, do this on your lunch break or on your coffee break. 15 years ago, no one heard of Botox. So Botox. Five you years ago, it was just catching on. Now it's like a household word. That's the Botox, right there. That white rim around the bottom of this jar. It doesn't look like much, but this is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And it is one of the most deadliest substances known to man. It is a poison, it is a protein from a bacteria, and in large doses, in the order of three to 4,000 units, it can be toxic. But in small doses, so a study show. has found, Botox is very safe, even in the long term. 50 people were followed for about six years. In that time, they each had an average of 19 treatments and no adverse reactions or buildup of toxicity. That reassures patients like 41-year-old Marianne Benusis, who is getting Botox for the first time. I'm hoping that I won't look like I'm worried all the time. Dr. Mulholland injects Marianne around the forehead paralyzing the worry muscles. He does the eyes as well as the neck. Put on a little powder, foundation, makeup, and you are good to go. 20 years ago, I probably would have thought um, it was a little unnatural. Maybe I'm a hypocrite, but uh, I think we live in a vain society, so a little enhancement is, is not a bad thing. Well, Botox must be administered by a qualified and trained healthcare professional and should never be used by people with multiple sclerosis or ALS, Gord. Right. And you know, it, you know, we couldn't see the results, obviously, because it takes three to four days to kick yeah. in. But it seems to be safe enough to use, and all the studies indicate so. Yeah, it sure is popular. All right. Thank you, Laura. We're gearing up for another long weekend. Time to fire up the pump. Wow, amazing that you can achieve so much with such a little medication injection, Botox. Wondering what it can do for you? You can check out further on spamedica.com or come in and see us. Looking forward to help you achieve the rested, youthful look uh, that you've been desiring.